Hi guys, I'm Paul from Urban Constrictors. So on today's video, I'm going to feature the cutting of the banana cinnamon blade clown male to a GHI female. So the purpose of this pairing was to hopefully hit a banana cinnamon GHI, banana cinnamon GHI blade um, hit for clown to hold back uh, because there's a lot of things I want to do with GHI and clown uh, op alongside cinnamon and banana so i thought this was a quite sure way of potentially creating the one i hope uh, i create to hold back and also i'm going to feature the banana spot nose clown combinations that i've hatched some of you may have seen on facebook and instagram so i'm going to feature them and then next week's video we're going to look at some chocolate stuff and while i'm on that subject of chocolate clown stuff Really excited to hear Justin Kabelka release some information that uh, spot nose and chocolate are Lelic. So obviously this is completely new to all of us. Uh, and that just, I'm just so incredibly uh, happy it's turned out that way. Because I've got quite a lot of spot nose clam stuff and I'm creating quite a bit of chocolate clam stuff. And obviously I'm going to combine them together. So when I get round to breeding, obviously, some of them animals in the future, uh, it pushes the chance out of uh, hatching any normals if I'm using any hets or normal clams if I'm using both visuals. So that's fantastic. And I, I know a lot of people would say, yeah, but then you can create a chocolate spot nose. For me, chocolate spot nose clam or whatever, for me, that doesn't matter because I will probably have chocolate on both sides of the pairings because of the super chocolate i won't have both uh, spot nose i won't have spot nose on both sides because some super spot noses have apparently uh, not gone on to thrive so i'd dodge that but i'd go super chocolate and just like i want some super ghi stuff so that's fantastic news i know i've kind of gone off on the sideline a little bit talking about something that's not really related to this video but I'm just super excited to hear that they are Lelic. It's kind of a bit of a dream come true uh, for my future going forward in the combinations I plan to do. Because obviously I'm mad on the dark night. So we'll take a close look at the cutting. And then like I say, we'll take another, no, a close look at the cool banana spot nose clam combos hatched. Cheers, guys. Right, so we're going to cut this clutch now. Obviously, you can see it's a GHI. A female bred to a banana cinnamon clown. I'm really hoping to hit a banana GHI cinnamon. This male does have blade, but I never rate it as I've explained on the past video. But it would be nice to hit the banana GHI cinnamon clown, uh, sorry, head clown or possible blade head clown, blah blah blah. Uh, so it's not exactly a groundbreaking clutch, but it's still one worth seeing. Um, six eggs, no slugs, and it's clutch number eight. So we'll take a look at what's inside. Oh, let me just say, it's the 29th of June, and these women are hatch on the 3rd of the 7th. So they're actually, it's the earliest clutch ever ever had here. As you can see, there is one that's pipped. And that says to me, my incubator is running a little bit warmer than normal. And because I hatched a couple of snakes with small deformities, I've checked and checked and checked and checked all temperatures, and they're all fine. And all my thermometers log, data so if if they were despite at one point or another i wouldn't know about it so i don't quite understand what's going on maybe this clutch has just developed faster i, I was gonna say maybe my incubator did get too warm at one point or another i don't honestly think it did so a way to tell if the eggs are ready to come out is if they peel away so easily like that it takes no effort to peel them away they just kind of away and you can feel the babies really really easily inside so i've decided to cut them slightly different to normal i'm going to cut them the same way as billy at mutation creations now i did and this is simply because when he cuts them it's always very very neat and tidy uh, i did explain this on the past video but the video was getting on so i sped i speeded up the uh, sections where i was talking just mumbling so you won't have heard it, but what I said is for all the babies that haven't picked, I'm gonna cut them like Billy did. So that's a normal heck clown. I knew that was normal, so 
it was quite obvious. So I'm just gonna try it. Uh, this will be the very first time. In fact, this egg is not dimpled in, so I won't be able to do it. So we'll just run with it. I'll cut one line straight up, straight across rather than doing that sort of half moon shape. See, there's loads of goo. Maybe my eggs just have more goo than his, I don't know. So there's a GHI. I'm not seeing any other genes. Doesn't look like it has cinnamon. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, cinnamon and definitely doesn't have banana. So GHI head clown. It'd be cool if, it, if it's a female. Uh, do you know I meant to say this for Mickey likes it? I'm getting low. I ordered some more, but I didn't like it. It's from my own suppliers. So this one's actually uh, going mad as I'm touching the egg. I didn't touch the baby with the scissors because I pull up, if you notice, I pull up buds. So the baby is clear. So it looks like another JHI. Yep. So yeah, not, not so much uh, veins. Actually, no, that's a cinnamon JHI. Oh, that's cool. How is it just a cinnamon? Oh, look at the head coming out. Come on. Uh, probably just a cinnamon. Yeah, I think it's just a cinnamon. Kind of looks a little bit GHI. -y. I'll maybe be able to tell a little bit more once I've cut a few others. So it's still kind of hanging with its head out. It's just chilling, look. So, I'd like to see some banana colours. Maybe mint to hatch. Banana, JHI, cinnamon, heckland female. That would definitely be worth holding back. And a male, but I just, ah, oh yeah, there we go. I just love holding them female banana combos back. So, oh, and tw towards the end of this video, I may have uh, some babies to look at. So stick around for that. So I'm seeing banana, definitely seeing cinnamon. Uh, could have JHI. In fact, I think it does. I think that is the one I just spoke about. Simply because banana cinnamons are just stunning. Stunningly beautiful. One of the best two gene combos, in my opinion, whether the heck clown or not. They're just stunning. Now the GHI has kind of muted the colour because they have a much rich colour. So I do believe that is the banana cinnamon GHI heck clown. So I try to explain things for the people that are kind of new to identifying genes. So that's why I'm kind of explaining it. For anyone watching, thinking, yeah, well, I know that. Not everybody does. So that's kind of why I try to explain what I'm seeing. So weirdly, that looked like a pastel for a second then. So another normal. Um, that sucks. So yeah, two normals. We've just got just as much chance of hitting the normal as something else. Obviously 100% head clown. So people ask me, do I kill my normals? <laughs> No, I do not. They go to my shop. Ocean corals and reptiles. And they'll be put into pet homes and they'll be loved by families forever. Well, that's just kind of tripped my theory up. So this is definitely cinnamon and banana. Uh, and I'll say GHI as well. So maybe that other one isn't GHI or maybe that's just uh, the difference from one example to the next. So, I'm actually really pleased with that outcome because I hatched potentially two of the best possibilities. And if that other one is a cinnamon GHI, then I'll be very happy because it'll most likely be a girl because these bananas, with it being a male maker, uh, are most, uh, almost certainly boys. So, yeah, so my cutting didn't go goo free. But you can see these babies are very close to coming out because of the vascular development is almost gone. Veins on the egg wall is almost gone. So really cool. So if you haven't been following my channel for long, what I do is after I cut the eggs, they just go straight back in the incubator and they come out naturally when they're ready. The the, the cutting of the eggs is just to secure the very uh, future of exiting the egg uh, uh, very, very easily and without any obstruction. So they go back in the incubator, they will come out on their own accord in about 24 hours, they'll all be out. They just wait till they absorb the last bit of their yolk up. And then on the next video, I will show this clutch. So every clutch cutting, this is how I'm doing it from this point, well, from a couple of videos ago. Uh, every clutch you see me cut on the following video, you will see the babies out. So 
unless it's maybe I might miss one or two if it's a really boring clutch. Uh, see, look at the top of the egg box, I just dropped loads of water on the floor and they've heard it uh, a couple of seconds ago. That's them uh, letting all the moisture out. That's a, another indicator when your eggs are about to start pipping, just massive moisture buildup. But that does happen for uh, a couple of weeks, so don't see moisture buildup and then they're ready to come out. Right guys, so we're gonna go in reverse order. So this is uh, the first hatchling I'm gonna show today, and it's a spot nose, 100% head clown. Uh, first spot nose I've hatched that isn't a visual clown combo, so I was quite uh, pleased to see that. Uh, even though it's obviously a lower end combo, it's always nice to actually know exactly what you're working with. So I was actually pleased to hatch this one, and this female sold almost immediately. So that's a cool spot nose, really good quality I think, because it's just golden, uh, good quality spot nose head clown. So next up is a banana head clown. Uh, this turned out to be a female, which uh, was the only female banana in the clutch unfortunately. Really disappointed with that, but you know, you can't win them all. Uh, I've got to just be pleased for hitting the combination I want. And check out that head stamp. Uh, just what's interesting is this, banana is so incredibly clean and perfect she is exactly what her mother is and it's she's going to go on remember i said this she's going to go on to develop almost no spots maybe a maximum of 10 and she's just going to hold her color and be absolute perfect uh, color throughout her life just like her mother is who's a four and a half kind of four and three quarter in uh, inch four and three quarter in four and three quarter kilo uh banana head clown uh, that i hatched i think in 15 or 16 or whatever it was so glenn felton uh, bought this female and he's going to be extremely pleased with her and her quality i honestly think she will develop a f let's say 15 or less spots and they're going to be kind of uh, very nondescript like her mother and she is the epitome of the perfect banana in my opinion so next up is what i've dubbed the thing uh, just a ridiculous snake just absolutely ludicrous so i believe genetically this is a pastel banana and it is 100 percent head for clown it's got the paradox of a pastel it's got the paradox of a banana clown sorry pastel banana pastel banana words out it's also got a paradox of a uh, straight banana a uh, cat maybe that no that's pastel banana i can't quite remember where it is but uh, examining the snake it's got a triple paradox so genetically it's a banana pastel head clown but visually it's just outstanding and this snake sold almost immediately too just absolutely cool and i sold it for 400 pound which is a little bit more than a banana pastel head clown would be worth. But I've seen paradoxes fetch quite a lot of money. Um, and in some cases, uh, priced so expensively they didn't sell. And so I asked a little bit more for it because this will be, this will catch attention on every single photograph it's ever a part of. So this will do the new owner uh, some fantastic things, not only as a breeder, but also as a, a fantastic, um, advertisement uh, snake so really hope the the new owner when she receives her at him sorry when she receives him i hope she's as happy with him as i am because i think he's just outstanding i would have loved to have kept him but he kind of doesn't he's not genetically powerful enough for me to hold him back but he's just incredible check out the check out the colors there's there's the banana there. Just amazing. So yeah, banana, pastel, eggplant. So next up we move to the visuals. So here's just an outstanding clown. Uh, at first I was wondering if it was a fire clown. I'm not, I'm not completely sure. So I just sold it to clown. Um, I would always want my customers to get a bonus rather than realize they were sold a snake with uh, one less genes than they initially thought. So I sold it as a straight clown, which I do believe it is a straight clown. It's just a very, very pretty one. And Glenn Felton also uh, bought this uh, female. So just a really, really beautiful 
uh, top quality, uh, fantastic example of a straight clown. So next up is a, a pastel spot nose clown. Uh, I, I think this is the best pastel spot nose clown I've ever created. It's got the most amazing headpan. It's almost completely symmetrical. Just real fantastic canary yellows with a little bit of noise, but not too much. And just a really, really pretty, very, very pretty uh, example. So really just blown away by the quality of this one. Uh, Glenn Felton also bought a, um, a Pastel Spot Nose Town off me. And that was just outstanding too. Uh, so uh, this one sold as well to Lee. Uh, Lee Yates, yeah, I think his surname is. Uh, sold almost instantly and um, just I think Lee's going to be very very happy with this snake and um, just absolutely uh, uh, outstanding uh, representation of his kind just beautiful so yeah pastel spot nose clown so next up is just amazing banana pastel banana clown possible fire I'm not 100% convinced I've got fire in so I'm selling them as possible fires, but I'm not pricing the fire in. So if the uh, buyers prove them out to be fire, they've obviously got a bonus. And if they don't, then they just paid the money for a pass of banana clowns. Just check out them colours. Just absolutely phenomenal. Just absolutely amazing. I'm blown away by this combo. Uh, I, I honestly think, and I hope it's not me being kind of blind to my own creations, but every year my uh, combos just get better and better quality. Uh, the snakes I'm hatching, I'm, I'm moving forwards, uh, you know, really, really well, and I'm really enjoying uh, seeing just how much customers appreciate getting some of my snakes into their collections. Like uh, a friend of mine rang me up saying, oh, one of my friends wants one of your snakes. Um, he needs to do a payment plan. I was like, payment plans are cool. I have no problems doing them. It helps people get better snakes into their collection, which I'm always up for. And that customer is super excited about what he's adding to his collection, and more will be revealed there down the line. So, pastel banana, possible fire clown, just amazing. So next up is the exact same thing. Uh, one of these is sold. Can't remember which. Uh, off the top of my head, uh, to a new customer, I believe it is. I'm trying to remember all my customers, but it is very hard. So, another outstanding, just outstanding uh, representation of its kind. Just amazing colours, stunning, and just that wacky, like zigzag pattern all the way down. I just absolutely love this combo. So, I won't spend too long showing this one off because it is obviously the same as the last. So, next up is the Pastel Spot Nose Banana Clown. So just amazing, this one sold also immediately. So adding the banana gene to the pastel spot nose clown doesn't create too much more uh, a pattern. It just completely changes color. But what's quite interesting is because of the pastel involved, it kind of mutes the banana a little bit and it kind of blends together a bit more sort of equal so equal amounts of spot nose present equal amounts of pastel and equal amounts of banana so it makes a really beautiful uh, tone uh, to it really really nice and it brings out some amazing sort of crisp lines and beautiful oranges within the teardrops um these actually age better uh i believe from what from uh snakes i've held back in the past uh, banana clown combos i've held back so adding pastel, they age better. They start off a little bit more muted, but they kind of blossom like a swan. Uh, just amazing. So this is also possible fire. Got that amazing spot nose head. So the buyer could obviously, uh, and I'd like to say this one is sold. The buyer could prove out to be fire, but I've, I've not priced for it. I've just basically sold them as pos fires. Cause I'm not hundred percent sure, uh, but just absolutely amazing so last up and not the most genetically powerful one but the one i decided to hold back because it was the purpose of the pairing the banana spot nose clown so this male will see some of my chocolate clown stuff later down the line just amazing absolutely amazing 
So because pastel isn't present, it doesn't have that more muted look and the spot nose has complemented the banana perfectly and brought the best of the banana out uh, and added the benefit of the spot nose, amazing spot nose clown head. So really love what spot nose does with clown combos and like I said on the past video, I'm so incredibly grateful to Justin Kabelka for opening my eyes on spot nose and clown because like I said in the past video, I initially said I'd never own a spot nose because I didn't see uh, what they brought to the table. Uh, the combinations at that point in time just didn't blow me away. Not, not a lot happened. And then there was added to clown and it was like, oh my gosh, it's just incredible. So this is actually one of the best snakes I've ever hatched in my opinion. I just love uh, the most amazing, amazing colors pattern, head stamp, just everything. Kind of wish it was a girl, but doesn't really matter because um, I can plug this male into obviously a number of females moving forward, but for some reason I just prefer hatching females. So, banana spot nose clown. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's video. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash the like button. If you want to, leave a comment in the comments box below and I'll try to get back to you. I do read them all, I just don't always acknowledge them because it is hard to get around them all but i hope you've enjoyed this video it's nice for me to show some amazing uh, combinations i've created and just trust me when i say there is more to come and the best is still yet to come so this season is turned out to be my best and most favorite season uh sometimes you can hatch better combos but it doesn't equal your favorite season for instance because you know it might just be one of them seasons that you hatch some cool stuff, but it just doesn't stand out. But this one is absolutely standing out to me for just being um, kind of a dream come true so far. A little bit of a wobbly start, but everything turned out to be fantastic and just absolutely fine. So everything's just leveled out and I'm just kind of hitting jackpot after jackpot. And then my callbacks are racking up. Some I didn't rack up last season, but I am this season. Uh, it really knocked me last season, but uh, this season's making up for it. And like I've said in the past video, the scales have to rebalance. So if you're having a bit of a rough season, just remember next season, the scales have to rebalance. So hopefully you'll bounce back like I am now. I'm kind of living proof that the scales do rebalance and everything kind of does come round uh, for the good people anyway. So if you're having a bit of a rocky season, uh, just get your sights set for next season get your females and males in perfect conditions ready for next season, get your temperatures right somehow I need to fine tune and hopefully we'll be seeing you having a season like I am now. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you next week. Cheers!